Ron Johnson Video Vlogs. Your first time tuning in, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. If you're looking to create a better relationship with yourself and people around you, this is where I can help. Today's topic is going to be about anger and relationships. Why do people always argue and get angry in relationship? It boils down to the fact of a misunderstanding. A lot of times we set expectations for a mate or, or for a significant other to understand how we're feeling. Most of the time, they don't. So it means that we set an expectation that doesn't really exist because the other person cannot read our mind or read what's happening to us. So thus, creates a friction because I was expecting this person to understand what I'm saying, but they didn't. Now I'm upset because they didn't understand what I was saying because they cannot read your mind. Let's put it like that. You cannot read your mind. If we communicate more, have more curiosity, and learn, we create better communication. Second thing is out of rapport. Out of rapport can be body language. Out of rapport can be simply not saying thank you, please, I appreciate you. Another third aspect can be we're not acknowledging and validating someone else. Say if your wife, husband, boyfriend cooks for you every night. Do you ever say thank you? Do you ever say, hey, thank you for cooking for me? Or better yet, since you cooked, I'll clean and do the dishes. Or since you cooked, and get the groceries. Or I see you working so hard, I appreciate that. Thank you appreciation will save you a lot of grief in relationships. Fourth thing is, the unfortunate part about life is life and change is continuous. We never remain the same. So you've been, if you've been married for 20, 30 years, if you've been married five years, or you've been dating someone for two years, you're constantly evolving. And sometimes in relationships, since people are evolving, they can grow apart and then grow back together. But the best thing to do is always say, please say thank you. I understand and be in rapport. If you always create, it's called a mind read, which is I think what the person's thinking, or it's called a complex equivalent, means that you know what's going to happen based upon X, Y, Z. It's not important. So as a coach, one thing that usually happens is that I tend to coach clients and in my relationship, I tend to be the coach as well too. But what I realize is that I can't be the coach in relationship. Sometimes a person just wants to hear you, sometimes a person just wants to hear you say whatever you need to say without asking those empowering questions. They just want to be heard. So to be validated. So sometimes you gotta take a step back to observe the situation and a grand review in my rapport. There didn't be acknowledged that I say thank you. What I did not do what the other person expected me to do, I said again, expected me to do, and ask that question, what did you expect me to do in this situation? So that way you get more knowledge for the future. So relationships always happen out of anger because the other person is not being heard and misunderstood. I hope you learned something from that for listening to my videos. But more importantly, what I want you to do is go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, be in the discovery call, or be in the masterclass button. Let's talk, let's communicate, and let's have a better life today for yourself and for others around you. Thanks for listening.